Hey, hello everyone. I um, I'm going to go over something that we're going to be using as our uh, weight loss uh, calorie counter. Uh, it's called My Fitness Pal. So let's uh, dive right into that. So with My Fitness Pal, uh, it keeps track of your daily food consumption. Uh, as you can see, I have 3,100 calories, and to better explain that, I'll go over here to the goals. It shows my current weight and, and what I want to get down to, and that I've stipulated I want to lose two pounds a week. And at the time I made this, I was not very active, so I listed it as not very active. Be honest with all this stuff. Be honest with yourself. Be honest with the program. It will help to better count what you, you're, you're doing. So uh, let's go back to the home page here. Um, they have a lot of stuff on here. They have some you know menu ideas and you know stuff you can do, exercises and stuff like that. But I'm basically in it for the calorie counting. So as you can see, I've already. Uh, added my breakfast, but let's go ahead and delete those so that I can show you the adding process. So, if I click on add food, it has a list of everything that that I've had, f you know, recently that I can pick and put into this this meal, but. You know, I, I don't want to just keep scrolling over it, especially since it's been a while since I did it. So I'm going to go ahead and search for a food. And I will put in the pancakes that I had. And there they are. So with this also, I can scroll down and pick other things that I've had at the same time or during that same meal that I may want to add in. This is part of the database that I have done. And I don't actually actively say, okay, I'm going to have this, I'm going to have that, I'm going to have this. As I have it, I put it in, and it builds my database over time. So during this, I also had a little bit of honey and butter. So now... When I click the little check mark at the top right, it's going to add all three of those in. And there we go. Right back to where it was when we first started. So now what I need to do, and I'll do it off camera and everything, is add my lunch in. But as you can see, up at the top it says 3,100 calories as my goal to not exceed. Uh, I've already had 588 and... As of so far, I have not exercised, so I have 2512 calories remaining. Uh, I also added water in down here earlier. I'll show you the, the container that I use for water, and I have about two or three of them a day, depending on the day and uh, where I'm going to be. Um, and then any exercise you want to add in, you can add in here. Under ca cardiovascular and strength, they have a lot of things you can add in. Whether it's swimming, running, jogging, walking, riding your bike, uh, possibly even skateboarding or rollerblading in there. I haven't really gone too much into this part of it because I do non-traditional exercising. So because of my, my size, I can't just like go out for a five mile run like some of you may be able to do. But that being said, there's plenty of stuff in here. Uh, the, under the exercises that you can do. So, uh, another thing that I would like to point out is that it does link up with all of the uh, fitness trackers that, that people are wearing on their wrist, whether it be the, the Fitbit or the, I, I don't even know the other ones, that's just the one I know about. I did use them for a while. I tried two or three brands, and it just n didn't work for me. I don't know why, but I would put it on in the morning, and I would go off to, to, to school, and next thing I know, I just walking outside, it said that I would walk like 700 steps, and that's just not possible. 
uh, because it's really only maybe, I don't know, less than 50 steps from my office where I would put it on to my truck where I would go. So I found that they were all like this. It wasn't really accurate in the step count. Um, so I just, I just left it out. I'm, I'm not going to try and chase a tracker of steps when it's not accurate. But anyways, um, like I said, you know, this is what we're going to be using for our tracking of goals. And, uh, we should be, uh, on a daily basis. We'll, we'll, we'll take, uh, screenshots of either this home page right here or our diary page. And, you know, show the, the, the amount of calories that we'd consume for the day. And we may even use the, the complete diary uh, button down there. And what it does is it bases what, you, what you're saying you want to lose weight and how many calories you consumed and what you should weigh in X amount of days. I think it lists two weeks or a month out. If you ate the same way you did today, within two weeks you would weigh this amount of weight or a month you'd weigh this amount of weight. And it's kind of a little, you know, like a uh, cheerleader for you, if you will. But anyways, um, that's about it. So looking forward for uh, y'all coming on this journey with us. Um, my name is Scott. I'm going to be doing it with my wife, Mariev. And uh, together we're going to lose the weight that we need to lose. Talk to you guys next time.